Mopeds are cheap and easy to maintain, but most Hungarians prefer fast, full-size motorbikes, except Agastan. Mopeds uh, look like bicycles and people treat them as such. And, but me personally, I, I, I don't mind. I just, I just love them. He's on a mission to make mopeds popular. Agastan thinks people in Budapest rush around too much, missing out on the city's beauty. A year ago, Agastan launched Hungary's first blog about mopeds, and he's pleasantly surprised by its success. He gets around 1,200 clicks a day. But writing about mopeds is only a hobby. Agastan is finishing up a PhD in sociology, and he wishes his academic work had as many readers as his blog. If you are a sociologist, you, you can be easily laughed at. I always get these questions, why, why am I a sociologist? Uh, how do I earn a living? And, and all I can say is that this is what I'm interested in, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't really do something else. This is my work, my hobby and my vocation as well. Agastan puts together this academic review for free with his colleagues. He believes sociologists had a bigger say in public affairs during the communist regime, and now they struggle to get research grants. He's paid less than 100 euros a month for the weekly lessons he runs for undergrads, but he likes sharing his ideas with students, and it's a rare opportunity for them to discuss the French sociologist Pierre Bourdieu in an informal setting, far from traditional lecture halls. Interpretations are different with every translator in every language, so it's good to have Agostin, who tries to unify these diverse stuff. When he has time, Agostin likes to end his day with a stroll and a trip on the tram. It's 11 p.m. and he's the only person on board. I have the opportunity to think about my whole day and think about uh, big questions of existence, of human existence. He was once questioned by some suspicious police officers, wanting to know what he was doing on his own late at night. He told them he was just trying to unwind.